This is where the magic happens. I love it in here. Tucked away in a loft in Troy, Lindsay Ray has photographed hundreds of women, many stripped down in their most vulnerable form. When you give them a chance to be vulnerable without judgment, you give them power. And I set out to make it my mission to give as many women power as I could. This is the self-love experience. Our next guest says social media and negative body images have become entangled due to the absence of diverse representation. And she wants to help change the way women see this singular ideal body as a measure of their worth. The body image activist and photographer, Lindsay Ray, is joining us to talk about how she is spreading body positivity. Hi, Lindsay. I have convinced nearly 600 women to take their clothes off in front of me. Well, not so much me as my camera, and not so much just convinced as much as given permission to. I am a luxury boudoir and empowerment photographer, and if I have learned anything, it is how deeply damaging the beauty propaganda machine is. And it all hinges on one word, if. You know, one of the most important things that we can do as mothers is watch how we talk about ourselves in front of our children. Um, I'm actually a mom, I have a seven-year-old daughter and she hears everything that I say, even down to the things that you may not know that your children are hearing. When you look in the mirror and you're looking at your tummy and they overhear you saying that you don't love it or that you don't like it, that begins to become their internal language. So what we can do as moms is change the way that we talk about ourselves. You're so right. I have seven and eight year old boys and yeah, they hear everything even when I think they're not listening and I do I do need to be more conscious about the things I say about my body or just bodies in general because they are listening and that can really lead to body insecurity if I can fit into this teeny narrow-minded mold of what society considers beautiful then I could be happy I am a size 20 woman with stretch marks and cellulite and a, a belly apron from my C-section and all the baggage that comes along with a childhood filled with my own father's ifs. Lindsay, if only you lost some weight. Diotavio is the owner of Self Love Experience. I wanted to prove that every woman can be beautiful, no matter who she is, how old she is, what her skin color, her ethnicity is, that she has beauty in her. A photography studio based out of Troy, New York, focused on helping women overcome body insecurity. For Diotavio, her work is personal. I was always raised that I was never good enough. It was always, you could be beautiful if. You would be beautiful if you lost 30 pounds. You would be beautiful if you stopped dyeing your hair red. She says after finding her own self-worth, she made it her mission to help other women do the same. Over the course of six years, she's photographed more than 600 women. But she says now more than ever, women are struggling with body insecurities coming out of quarantine. I think one of the things that we forget about why COVID had the impact on us that it did was the massive increase in internet and social media intake. And it's not just affecting women. One study from the National Center for Biotechnology Information found nearly 78% of girls experience body image dissatisfaction. My daughter, she was four years old. She had on this cute little baby crop top, just adorable as can be with her bright red hair. And she just kept yanking it down. Diotavio says her own daughter has. She just looked me straight in the eyes and square on at four years old said, Mommy, I don't like my tummy. She doesn't get that from the TV. She doesn't get that from books. She couldn't read. She was four. Where do you think she got it from? Her best advice, watch what you say about yourself and be careful about what you consume online. When I became a photographer in 2013, I silenced my ifs and I set out on a mission to help others silence theirs as well. A new survey found that 51% of people now have negative feelings toward their body since the start of the pandemic. But one woman is trying to help others change how they feel about themselves and doing it with her photography. So joining us now, Lindsay Ray, the body image activist and owner of the Self Love Experience. I love that. That just sounds awesome. Good morning to you. Good morning. How are you today? I am doing very well. I hope you are also. Now, you've started talking about this. You think that the pandemic had a negative effect on people's bodies image? I 
do, I definitely do. And the reason why is the huge increase in internet consumption. When you're spending that much more time online and disconnected from reality, you begin to build what I call the, the comparison monster that lives in all of us when you're comparing yourself to other people, to celebrities, to your friends, to filtered photos. So it's really had a negative impact on the way that not just women, but men view their bodies. So often I have clients come in that talk about the COVID-15 akin to the freshman 15, like it's a negative thing, but we just survived a collective world pandemic. So I think it's okay to lighten up on yourself just a little bit. Yeah, right. Give yourself a break. Also, it's a great time to remind people that social media is someone's highlight reel. So stop comparing your real life to their highlight reel. What you have to understand about the beauty industry is that the models don't have flawless skin. No, the photographer, cinematographer has these little diffusion filters that they put over their lenses that scatter and diffract the light to create this sense of blur over the skin. Don't even get me started about Photoshop. You know, the dirty little secret about the beauty industry is that they have to first destroy your confidence in order to build it back up. And I'm not buying. Pleasure to introduce to you the Fashion for Rain chairperson, Ms. Lindsay Frumer. She's on the carpet her first time at the Oscars. She's enjoying it, having a blast. How's it going, Lindsay? I'm doing so great, Krishnar. Thank you. I'm Lindsay Frumer, chairperson for Fashion for Rain with the Fashion for Awareness Coalition. We are so honored to launch Fashion for Rain at the 81st Annual Academy Awards. Fashion for Rain is an initiative designed to raise awareness against sexual abuse through volunteers from the retail, fashion, and entertainment industries. It's the brainchild of model, singer, actor, and visionary Krishnar Lewis. With us today, we have the extremely talented Ryan Calavertinas, who we're going to toss it over to right now. How you doing, Ryan? Being a woman and loving ourselves is a near impossible challenge. But through the clients that I've worked with who just trust me in their most vulnerable moments. Like so many women, Jaleesa has struggled with body image most of her life. And at 18 years old, a man attacked her and left her with severe injuries. I went into a severe depression, but this changed everything and it was years later like it took until i was 31 to find lindsay in this whole experience and after this it completely changed my mind about myself how i felt about my body when rachel clayton her photo shoot was away to offset the negative effects of a chronic illness cystic fibrosis with the decline of my health has come a decline of my self-esteem so i just felt like i needed something to make me feel empowered and that I like myself again. Or just right there, eyes right here. And when she began to strike a pose, I just, I felt like, oh my God, I'm just like all the other girls that did this. I'm just as powerful, I'm just as beautiful. It's the relationship that I have with myself that sets the tone for all of these other relationships in my life as a boss, a mom, a sister, a wife, a business owner. I'd like to welcome you to the Microdyne exclusive media review featuring an acoustic mini concert with Fontana Universal Music artist Krishnar Lewis and two-time Grammy nominee, the incomparable Miss Kim Burrell. Kim and Krishna are actually currently being featured in the Our Valentine's Day ad campaign, which is an online shopper's incentive program. Ever since the inception of Lewis Agency back in 2000, it's always been one of our main objectives to foster partnerships with companies that can bring new products, ideas, and information to the marketplace that will enhance our quality of life. And so it's really a give and take between you and the client. It's not that here's some pictures I took of you. It really becomes more like a relationship. That's exactly what it is. And it's, and, and I become invested in my clients, you know, it really is an exchange of, of energy, whether you believe in, in science or metaphysics or religion, you know, we know that energy can't be created nor destroyed. So there's always a given it, an almost a tangible feeling energy in the room when we're shooting. And I think that that, that kind of, shifts into who we both are and, okay. and transforms and makes it really a transformative experience because you do have to be vulnerable and vulnerability is scary. 
how do you combine boudoir photography and self-image love? The hardest part when I started this business was breaking the stigma behind lingerie photography being only something to be sexualized to turning it into an experience where a woman can confront herself and learn to love every inch of her body, her hips, her curves, her breasts, however they may be. And through these experiences and through being able to confront yourself in this way, you are able to find an inner strength that you may not have known that you have. Because when you can see yourself and you see that you look good, you'll feel good. And when you feel good, you'll go out and you'll do good. Simply by confronting your own self-judgment, you're winning. You are taking back your power from a society that tries to tell you that you're not good enough. Give yourself permission to feel beautiful and worthy right here and right now. No ifs, ands, or butts about it.